Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'll be covering something that I've been getting asked quite a lot, and it is what my video settings are, and what's the most optimal way to play Borderlands 3. Now you guys know that Borderlands 3 since release has had a lot of performance issues, and I'm sure many of you want to know what's the most optimal way to play Borderlands 3 in terms of video settings. So I'll go over them, one by one. So the first thing you want to do that gives you the best kind of performance is DirectX 12. This thing got improved quite a lot since release and it actually gives you 60 to 70 FPS increase depending on your system, but it does use a lot of resources. That's the only thing that I noticed about it. But other than that, this thing is extremely amazing and I would recommend it if you can. Now, the next thing you should do is you should put the overall graphics to to very low. And hear me out on this one. If you put the overall quality to very low, it actually tricks the, uh, the game a little bit and actually gives you a little bit more performance from what I heard. Uh, that's one thing. Uh, the next thing is you should also put the, the, the filtering on X2 and you should turn this off and turn this off both of these both of these are quite the resource hog and you don't need to put everything on ultra either uh, of course i have my settings on ultra just so i can showcase everything to you uh, because there is not that much of a difference between ultra and high they're almost basically the same and ultra actually uses more resources than normal so you want to have yeah, you want to have the stuff looking like this, basically. And this should give you quite the F, uh, FPS increase. So I have it on 61. I'll just put it on 300, just for testing purposes. And now we can test it out. Now, if you're playing on DirectX 11, you're most likely not going to see any frames beyond 100. But with DirectX 12, you're going to gain quite the performance increase. Now, I am recording at the same time, so that might affect my performance. But when this game first released, I was barely able to break the 60 mark. And now, you know, with these settings, I can easily break the 100 limit and actually make use of my 144 hertz monitor. But as you can see... I'm getting comfortably more than 100 FPS with these kinds of settings. And the game doesn't look that much different. It looks the same as it does in Ultra. But it just gives you more to work with in here. But anyways, I hope you guys found this video helpful. I know a lot of people are buying this game on Steam and having quite a lot of issues with it. So I wanted to make this video because I, th I thought I'd, it'd be a little bit helpful to those who are looking for increased performance in this game. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching.